Hello everyone, I'm Kako Chrissy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you a Hongshan Jade piece is used as a, a, an arm guard to protect your wrist. And this piece uh, basically follow the same uh, guideline we already studied before. You see this curved surface, how beautiful the reflecting light by different angle. They use this channel. This channel is the same principle we saw them on that's the separature pieces, a uh, few force a few pieces I show you in the Hong Strand set jade section. As you turn, you will see the light reflecting differently by the channel they created. Some part by the direction you see and the lighting the line will disappear at some point it will come back again so um, after we learn those uh, channel design on Hongshan Jade this one we can see ah they're the same thing same follow the same principle and for the jade material wise this kind of green yellow you see the yellow tongue green dish jade that's a, the typical one of a typical hongshan jade material they're local minded um we already see this kind of jade before with the uh, inside the floating material inside this one is relatively pure uh, but still you see them you see here I want to also want to show you, you see those uh, like a snowflake. This is a kind of one kind of uh, uh, stain. This one you already see on the previous piece, like a, a Jade 2, they have this. And this part is also stain also. You see not much light goes through. I think this is the section this happened by before buried somehow they run fire ceremony and the cause of this part you see how different the light goes through this part you see this almost none is something caused by that kind of reason and for this piece we covered this material stands and next time <clears throat> okay before the design partial design we covered the channel design um okay for the craftsmanship you will see this one's a good example to absorb those uh, forehead uh, uh, cows for you, you see how many tiny two marks left on it? Sing, sing, uh, let me make a bigger. Hope you can see those tiny, tiny short soft looking lines those are referred as uh, see here yeah there there's a spot easy to see see here those like a cow four calls for and uh, referred as uh, Deng Shu, in Deng Xiaoping's book and also this is the common um, explanation in this ancient jade world 
see here this lines yes that's the tool mark you will you want to see on the so Hongshan jade and also since here you will see this uh, uh, the hole how they make the hole they make two holes on each side four in total of course and uh, I want to show you is here did you see this tiny channel next to the hole obviously they make those holes on purpose let me show bigger you see how they make the holes they make those holes up on this side on both sides to let a, a string rested inside it so when you wear this the string will inside the hole this surface is a flat so the string won't bother your arm do you think that's a very thoughtful design we just like a recently years we had those engineer designed shoes to feed your artery of your feet make you feel comfortable imagine this uh, this sort of design was created by five six thousand years ago people and also for the design wise for show you how sort of they are you see the curve they slope it down this part is a wider center it rests down your arm this part is sloped in other words it curved up both ends so when you when this piece rests on your arm especially you put a weight or something on the center part this piece won't hurt you because the both end is slightly curved up it won't uh, dig into your skin no it's a has a space it's such a thoughtful design they they really think about it to me so i was curious how tiny hole this is the tiny line feels what kind of a string they use um i give you an example as here the string I use in my kitchen when I cooking you see how thin it is I run this line through the hole actually my skin feel feel the skin feel the the, the strings means this hole this channel is much smaller than the cooking string I have um, I don't have a way to measure how thin the string is probably half a size of that string goes through this will fit in here imagine that the thin string can fit in here serve the purpose to hold this jade piece on your arm with without dropping out without break it how strong that will be so for cut so thin string it's not easy to do from a piece of animal skin they don't have uh, scissors metal scissors to cut very thin and go through the hole you need a tight knot somewhere here that will be very not a po impossible very very difficult to, to do imagine that's a for them so i wonder if this could be kind of a silk skin use the silk worm give out the make a string use that silk uh, silk worm skin can, uh, silk st string can do and or any kind of uh, fabric they build a, a fabric string i know bamboo can be cut this thing 
but uh, like uh, this is seen bamboo will lose those uh, moisture inside will become very fragile to break it won't service this purpose especially they already thought about want to hurt your skin bamboo stream want to do the work so could be silk or another kind of uh, fiber I will show you a couple of jade uh, example of Hongshan jade. You know, they already know how to use a string to make uh, horizontally and vertically wave them together. Let's say they already know how to wave the string together and they already have this kind of thin string. Do you think they might have a kind of a fabric for their garment. In addition, to those uh, animal skin for their garment, which is we commonly believed. Um, for this extension, I want to show you, I want to talk about uh, uh, a story I read is uh, Archaeologists find uh, discovered a silk garment in uh, Han Dynasty, which is uh, two thousand years ago. Dynasty, they find out that this garment, this whole piece, is adult size, can cover from your shoulder to your feet with a two long flying shape of those uh, slaves. And uh, but this garment was so thin, it was nicely folded and into a matchbox, probably a box, the squarish box, not a much bigger than this. So the scientists and archaeologists are very curious. They tried to duplicate. That's the silk garment. No matter how hard they try, they failed. Because the modern silk garment is just one to fit in that box. So they conclude is because the silk worm in the modern days gave out the silk string, they say it must be much finer than the ancient time. Uh, it is good possible. So from this, uh, the holes is so, so small, I wonder it's kind of a silk string what used here. Um, this give us a good cure as spark our curiosity to think about it, uh, you think about it too, please. I hope you enjoy today's video. Um, thank you for joining me. I will see you next time.